Number three. So the student council is hosting a drawing to raise money for scholarships. They are selling tickets for $6 each and will sell 900 tickets. There's one $3,000 grand prize, two $300 second prizes, 12 $30 third prizes. You just bought a ticket. Find the expected value for your profit. Round to the nearest cent. All right, expected value. How do we do expected value? So like I said, I made a new formula for you on the formula sheet. Let me show it to you again right here. Gambling or insurance. I want to make it easier for you. If the problem says expected value for you, take the probability of payout times the dollars of the payout minus the cost. So that's right. This is your exam two notes right here. See this up here? Exam two notes. This is a new change to your exam two. I'm, I updated the PDF file that is in your Canvas course shell. So it's a new exam two notes, updated, new and improved. So there's the formula we're going to use. I'm going to bring that down. Prob so probability payout times the dollars of the payout. See the dollar sign there? This is probability of payout times dollars of payout minus dollars of cost. And that's for you. And they're asking us for, for us on this one. Whoop, here we are right here. Right? So it says find the expected value for your profit. Right? This is for you. So let me make this a little bigger. And let's do it. Expected value for you. So what's the formula? It's probability of the payout times the dollars. of the payout and then minus the dollars of the cost. It's good. This will be easier than what we did last time. Okay, so here we go. What's the payout? Well, there's a few different payouts, aren't there? Um, the, the $6 is the cost, isn't it? So that'd be minus $6. That's the cost. $6 is what they're selling the tickets for. That's the cost. Um, 900 tickets. There's one $3,000 grand prize. What is the probability that you're going to win the grand prize? There's 900 tickets, and one of them is a grand prize winner. 899? It's, it's one out of 900, right? Remember? Probability is always the number being asked for over the total. So if you want to win the grand prize, that's one ticket out of 900 tickets. Is that good? Is probability making sense? Probability, the chance of something happening, is, the num is what you're asking for, in this case, to be the grand prize winner. That's just one ticket out of the total number of tickets. So it's one divided by 900 times, what are the dollars that you win if you get the grand prize? 3,000. And then keep going. Plus, next, you could have, there's two $300 second prizes. So that's two out of 900, right? There's two out of 900 times, what do you win for second prize? $300 plus 12 $30 prizes. So 12 out of the 900 tickets times the $30 prize. And then at the end, I'll just move this down here. And then at the end, you have to subtract the $6 cost. So there it is. There's what you want to do on your calculator. So notice I'm using the expected value formula on the exam two notes, which is probability of each payout times the dollars for each payout. So one divided by 900 times 3,000 plus two divided by 900 times $300 payout plus 12 divided by 900 times a $30 payout minus the cost of $6. Okay, Mr. Herring, I have a question. Question. So... This is going to sound dumb, but in my head, wouldn't, why wouldn't you figure out the probability of payout for each prize separately? 
Uh, just one second. I'm calculating the uh, answer here. Whoops. Um, 1030. 30 minus. Okay, so I'm getting the answer negative 1.6 for mine, which means a dollar sixty. So negative a dollar six. So we expect to lose on average a dollar sixty when we buy a ticket here. So uh, what was your question again then? Why wouldn't you do what's that? Why wouldn't you figure out the probability of payout separately for each prize? Um, so, okay, so, um, okay, so, uh, okay, so I'm trying to answer the question. So, so, okay, remember what expected value is. It's one overall expectation from playing the game. In other words, there's not several expected value answers, right? Like look back, look back to this uh, one we did with the dice rolling here. Um, when, we, when we rolled the dice in this, this game right here, right? We, we didn't figure out expected value if you roll a six or roll a four. We just did overall, what do you expect to happen when you play this game? So expected value is one overall calculation that involves all the different things that can happen all put together into one overall average. So it involves all the parts, right? We have to multiply, we did the same thing on this problem. We multiplied the money, right? The $6 times the probability, and then the money, the $4 times the probability, and then the money, the losing of $5 times the probability. So it's the same thing. So, that, so that's how we do expected value. It's not, it's not for each one separate. It's, it's overall. It's one overall average for the whole thing. Okay, that makes sense. Good, good. Put the Other questions on this one? So mine came out negative $1.60. So we expect to lose $1.60 overall. How do you put that in the calculator? Was there? Yeah, so literally just like this. So literally you type 1 divided by 900 times 3,000 plus, 2 divided by 900 times 300 plus, 12 divided by 900 times 30 minus 6. And then, and then just hit equals at the end. Yeah, so literally just type that straight into your calculator and that should do it for you.